warm up back home. Back in England where it's lovely and sunny, but also about two degrees and freezing cold. Obviously my last vlog was all about um, being away in Fiatventura, taking you around Fiatventura a little bit and also showing you some of the equipment that I take away with me when I go travelling so I can make lovely little videos for you guys to watch. Oh yeah! The thing is, is that I couldn't really show you then how all that stuff goes whoop into a bag. So what I wanted to do is rather than get home and do my usual sort of unpack and everything, I thought I'll just do it quickly here and we'll have a little quick chat about what's in it, okay? So this is a really brief video. There's not going to be an intro, nothing like that. This is not a vlog. This is literally what I do to pack all that stuff into my bag. See you in a sec. So then, number one, my actual main sort of bag for the old cabin, you know what I mean? I tell you what, I've noticed so many people now take on cabin bags, literally taking the piss when it comes to what a cabin bag size should be. This is like your standard manly covered camera bag that you have on for the cabin. So, open the beast up. First thing I'd say is I often do self-catering holidays. That means that um, I don't need to take all, like, you know, if there's seven days of sunshine, I don't need to take seven pairs of shorts. There's a washing machine there. I know it's probably not, oh yeah, how to spend your time on holiday doing a wash, but you know, 10 seconds in it, and it means I can take the camera equipment that I need to, to make nice immersive films and stuff like that. So the usual sort of guff, pair of shorts, blah, 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 blah. Um, the first interesting bag is that one there. <laughs> this, is, this is so weird. A couple of pairs of shorts, a couple of, uh, um, vest tops, pair of trunks, that sort of thing. Use the roll up method, that's one thing I'll say, definitely. Training gear in here, a spare pair of trainers, uh, just in case, these are just like walkabout trainers, but training gear there, blah, 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 blah. All those things go in and around this bag here, which contains quite a lot of my camera equipment. Usually, this back pouch always carries my ND filters for my drone. Um, so I've got that. Uh, then I've got my Rode mic that I've probably left on. No, I haven't. This beast here takes a little PP3 battery, so always think about that. But I've got my GoPro in here, okay? So number one, my GoPro lives in that little pouch there. But I want to get it out so I can just set up another shot so we can um, show us putting everything down. Look, not all. Oh, it's still soaking wet. <laughs> I took this in the pool a few days ago. Just the memories of fun. I've got to find out how to get the beeping off this thing. It's driving me potty. De -de -de -de. Right, so I'm just gonna dump over here the first few bits. That there, that there, that there. So like I said, ND filters, so they just slip over there. And also my Rode mic as well that I love so much. Then inside I've got my Canon. This is like my nice sort of medium to long range lens. You can get really nice sort of effect focus on this. My 24 to 105 millimeter lens. I'm not gonna throw that over there. I'm just gonna nicely sort of nudge it. Oh God, like that, great idea. GoPro tap, my Canon charger. Then my um, GoPro charger as well. Spare 256 gigabyte um, Extreme Pro card. Uh, then I've got my drone controller. <laughs> More GoPro Tosh. To be honest, I actually bought the GoPro at the airport and I left. So a lot of that Tosh I won't bring with me next time. Uh, I've got my two spare Canon batteries here. Then I've got my plate mount for my um, gimbal, my Shizun gimbal. I still don't know how to say it, I still have no idea. And then the actual charger, battery charger cradle for that as well. That just takes a little HTC lead in there, easy peasy. You see how much we've already got there in that bag? Plus, in this little side pocket here, I've got little Drony Boo as well. Drony Boo just sits there. So then also, because it's all in that bag, I also then have another bag that I can take out with me. It's a single sling bag. I just whip it over my shoulder like that, or I just have it over here, and that's always with me. That can carry my Canon ATD as well, which usually lives in here when I'm traveling on the flight. So I have the Canon in there. If I need to take any quick shots, bits and bobs like that, I've always got that. And it's quick to change over as well. So let's put the old ATD out. And as you can see, that's got my trusty 10 to 22 millimeter lens on it. There you go, my darling. Ooh. And the bag goes over there as well. How about that? Always, if I'm on a villa holiday, I love my music, always take two Yui booms with me. They don't really take up a lot of space. Oh yeah. There you go. I'm always gonna love my you with boom. Unfortunately, I have to do work while I'm away, and in this East Pack bag, there's a really handy little pouch right at the back. And the good thing is that that flat. Oh, hello, you. I've lost that. That fell off my, my Canon. That's the little mode selector for the Canon. Have to take my laptop with me, always take my MacBook away so I can carry on working while I'm away. Oh yeah, I'm a plumber, remember, so you know, that's why I've got that on there. My iPad as well, which I always take away so I can download like Amazon Prime videos. Apparently you can download it from Netflix now, but I don't know how that works. So yeah, uh, I'll have a look into that when I get a set, but 
Always have that for the flight. This, the sink wire. Oh my God, the best thing ever. And as you can see at the moment, that's set up for continental, like Europe. Uh, but you can also, I mean, when you buy one of these, it comes with a, a UK one, like a three pin plug, and also the strange, like American flat pin plugs as well. And that then has all the leads in the top. So I can take one HTC lead, one um, iPhone lead, and that will charge everything up that I use basically. The HTC lead will charge up the UE booms, it will charge up the batteries for the uh, crane on gimbal, and also that will charge up the remote control for the drone as well, so that's pretty good. Over you go. DJI charger, as you can see, I only bring the one charger bit, and as you can see as well, the only battery I've got for the drone is on the drone itself. So I plan it, so I go out, film myself, as soon as I get back, bang, that gets charged up. A stick, of course you need a stick, Jim. Flip flops, not gonna need them for a couple of weeks, I'm afraid. Headphones, always need headphones on the flight. Can't go without them. I've got my headphone charger, which also actually has an HTC lead output on it, uh, so I can use that. And obviously my one continental to UK charger, so I can charge up my laptop and also my drone as well. And that all goes in this bag here, which is like my main uh, carry-on secondary bag. Uh, and I always try to buy, and let's face it, priority, on most flights these days is like three or four quid and that allows you, that guarantees you that your two bags can come into the cabin with you and if you're carrying equipment like what's laying over there you're not going to want to leave all that laying about are you? That's the thing. A pair of running trainers resplendent with dirty boxes and socks. <laughs> uh, the crane as well and as you can notice as well I use the tripod for the crane to uh, go directly onto the bottom of the cannon if I just want to do any sort of basic blogging. Um, I find that this crane struggles a little bit when I've got the larger um, lens on there because of the glass weight uh, and also the balancing's a bit more dodgier. See that? Lays there. Oh my god. Look at it all. And then if you're walking on Craggy Island or whatever, highly recommend you buy these. These are wicked. Um, if you want to go swimming or whatever and it's like rocky ground under, underneath the water, or you think there might be seeing enemies down there, something like that, wear these and you'll be sort of protected from whatever is underfoot. So there you go, all done. That's it. So there you go guys, just want to say spring is just around the corner. Obviously I've been away for a week and I've come back and in that week the days have grown longer you know, um, the snow drops are out and stuff like that. So the next video I'm gonna do is gonna be all about the start of spring, what I'm gonna be doing in my garden to get spring going, do you know what I mean? Uh, I've got to chop up loads of wood, I've got to finish off that fence that we did a couple of weeks ago in the uh, High Winds film, uh, and uh, also I've got to get all my bird feeders back up. I neglected the birds a little bit this year, so I'm gonna be going out shopping as well, grabbing some bird feeders and doing all that as well. So please subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you soon. Love you all, peace. Goodbye.